Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, whenever you may be. I am Mezzo9, and welcome to today's second instalment of my Cellar Mezzanine. A little bit too much alliteration for me there. Uh, we played as Samson earlier, now it's Eve's turn, so let's get into that. Um, <clears throat> our run as Samson didn't go too well. Um, that's all there really is to say about it, although I suppose it was Samson, so it is a bit of a tough run. And Eve is also a bit of a tough character, but she's one of my favourites, and... Um, takes tactics more than skill so I think it's something I'm more suited for <laughs> than um, Samson so what do we need as Eve we need something to generate our spirit hearts which is easier to find as Eve because spirit hearts are more common um, what else do we need um, more damage is a great start something to get the curse permanently active sure sure more health isn't so important as Eve, because we want the curse active. That takes less health than we've got right now. Um, easier floors might be nice. I don't want Wrath of the Lamb all the way through, thank you very much. No Necropolis this time. That would be good. Aside from that, there's not really a huge amount that we want. Just to get the curse active. And we could do that by going into that cur- uh, we couldn't quite do that by going into the curse room. We'd have to take a hit somewhere. And, uh, given that it's a floor where the boss might be, be uh, the widow, I'd rather not do that. Not intentionally, at the very least. Anyway, um, have we even been to the bonus room yet? No, why not? Silly mess. What have we got? Okay. Basically a bomb designed for combat. It's really quite crap. And the secret room isn't there. Good to know. I suppose we're going to go and fight the boss then. Hope it's not the Widow. But this should help us get started if it is. And it is. Drop it there, he'll go after that. And get nearly killed by it to be honest. That does a lot of damage. At least there's that to it. I suppose it's really quite heavily designed for combat then. I took damage myself, but that's gotten the bird activated. Which, honestly, I did forget about. And there's a spirit heart. Okay. Well, we can't go to the uh, curse room anymore unless we get half a heart somewhere. Not going to get it there. But we're going to get a tarot card, which is judgment, which might give us half a heart. Let's play them a couple of times. Half a heart? That's all I'm after? Sure. More tier velocity. Sure. Uh, we can't go to the curse room. Why am I trying? So I guess we're just going to take the blue heart and head on down. Hope for a blood bank or something. It's fine, we'll find more blue hearts. It'll all be good. Even in this curse of darkness. Not happy with that, but oh well, not a lot we can do about it. I'm um, not happy with this room either, but there's a lot we can do about that. Like this. And this. I'm sure one of those must have been a tears upgrade, actually, because my tears are seeming pretty fast. Maybe they're not. Maybe it's because I'm used to Samson. All I know is that they're really weak still. And I'm not happy about that either. There's a lot I'm not happy about right now. But, perhaps the um, tide will change. What have we got here? We've got the Joker card. Ooh. Well, that's a tide changer if I ever saw one. I'd like to use that more efficiently, though, to teleport out of a uh, curse room or something. But it's going to get us a little bit lost on this floor. Which is some, uh, which is awkward, but it's something we can work with. Another spirit heart there, and I'm gonna actually try and save that till after I've taken some damage. And that key is wonderfully timed to get us into this room where we get the uh, that car, uh, that item, game kid. Again, I'm gonna leave. Why would I leave a normal heart on the floor? I should probably take it. And yeah, I'm gonna take it. Why would I not? 
And considering I'm at full health now, I'll try and keep that the way that I am. Just going back for a moment. Um, just to do something that I consider relatively important. Before I get rid of that. Find the secret room with it. And it's got some money for me. Or something. Need another key if I want to get into the shop, but... At least that gives the chance of a uh, blood bank spawning on the next floor. Which will be amazing if I manage to no damage this boss. Because then I can get a perma curse without being near to death. Sorry, I'm focusing a little too much on the rooms and a little too little on the commentary. It's easy rooms at the moment, I shouldn't be needing to focus this much. And I'm going to bomb that to get the chest. I'm going to do so from this side. There we go. Simple as that. Let's uh, break those fires before they spit in my face. Can't be having that after all. And we get a bomb and a key. Bomb is something. Uh, pays for what we needed to get in. And the key will get us into that shop. Not that there's necessarily going to be anything useful in the shop, and in fact I've only got six coins, so it's not worth a key to go in there, to be honest. I'm just going to go and fight the boss and save my money. We have got the blighted ovum. There's tougher bosses, and I can just stand here and munch him. Lovely. And that's a win. No devil room, but we can fix that. Hello devil room. The pact is wonderful. And that is exactly what I should be taking. Damage increase. I believe it's a fire increase as well. Fire rate increase. And it also gets us down to one heart. So we only need to lose half a heart to get permanent curse. It also gives us some spirit hearts. Which help with that as well. So yeah. Good haul from that devil room. Of course that is what uh, Eve is balanced towards. Deals with the devil. If I get another good deal with the devil. I can... Um, uh, I, I don't know any examples off the top of my head, but if I get another good deal with the devil, I could uh, get proper permacurse going, get zero red hearts and all blue. The nail will be great, because that will generate me more blue hearts. I don't quite have the uh, damage to do that so easily. I'm hoping to not see any rooms with more of them, but at least we're on the caves floor, which is the easier variant. Screw you, fly. Uh, swarm of flies, to be honest. You can all get eaten by my dead bird. And we've got a pill. So, time for a game of Guess the Pills. I'm going to guess it Balls of Steel, because it would be really nice for us. Uh, place your own bets in the comment section below. That's what it's there for. I'll be using these pills in three, two, one. Oh yeah, I got it right. And also, Balls of Steel, awesome. Uh, fly agonals and bomb flies are... Potentially an issue to us, but if we keep him at bay at a long distance, we can kill them safely. There we go. Let's see what we've got in here. Have we got another Curse of Darkness? I didn't even notice that. That's annoying. Um, I'll go in here while I'm here then. Troll bomb. Got me as well. That's. Oh, and I didn't get out the door in time. That's triple annoying. Triple annoying. Have we been this way yet? No, not at all. Wonderful. Ish. There we go, that's one down. It's two. And that's one charged. I'll, uh, I'll make a big bomb there. Get that spirit heart, because that's important to us. Yum yum. And up here we've got the bonus room, which is what I was looking for. We've also got a good spot to bomb right here. Get us that chest and hopefully money or keys or bombs or something good. Don't want to talk about it. Book of Sin. That's actually going to be really good for us because it's going to keep spawning us blue hearts quite often, especially since we are Eve. So 
So we do want to keep this on us and get it charging. Um, I think we want to go to that shop as well. I'm not sure if we can get in. But yeah, that confirms that suspicion. So I'm going to place a bomb up here. And there's our secret room. And there's the ank. Ooh. Okay. So if we die, we then get permanent curse. Which is, you know, um, pretty damn epic. And would also, if we do this, knock Blue Baby off of our um, to-do list completely. Don't forget, we have only got Isaac left to beat as Eve. And walking on that doesn't help. So if we, uh, also as Blue Baby, so if we do so, <laughs> that will make both of our um, Blue Baby unlocks done as Eve, but that's beside the point. Actually, it's kind of to the point, because Eve and Blue Baby's unlocks are swapped accidentally. Having a little bit of a difficulty getting any real damage in on him here. Maybe I'll have to switch up my tactics. Or get the bird in. Why is the bird not doing anything? It's just sitting behind me. It's not going to kill the boss. There, you go after that maggot. Sure, it's a start. To help, at least. Look, he's right there. No, fine. There you go. That's all I was looking for. Now I can um, take care of the spawns more easily. And that will damage him. A little late in the fight for it, really, and I've lost a lot of spirit hearts, but I'll get over it. Could get a deal with the devil here still. I don't, but I could have. I do get a cube of meat, though. Ah, oh, that's good enough. Now, I'm going to have to wander about this floor to check that there's any, uh, if there's anything I missed, because if there is, it's not going to show up on that, because I've got Curse of Darkness. I hope I don't get it again. But that's beside the point. Did I do this? I needed a key. I don't have a key for it. And um, I know I went in the uh, curse room. So yeah. I've done this floor completely. It was a pointless stroll. Can't get into the shop anyway. I would if I could. But I can't so I shan't. And uh, that gives us more chances of a um, arcade on the next floor, which will have a temperance machine, which will let us get down to that half heart that we want. As well as give us money for the um, privilege. Lots of flies in this room, but that shouldn't uh, take too long to clear them out. I've got good fire rate, at least. Or at least compared to Samson. And that brings us up to 15 coins. Wonderful. Where's this arcade? That's what I'm looking for. We could go into the boss arena. And I suppose I should take a look at what item's in there. Uh, it would be Larry and Monstro at this point. Nothing too hard. I'm sure I could handle it, to be honest. First, let's open this chest. And use our... Uh, there we go. Two of spades gives us two keys. Or doubles our keys if we have more. Meat isn't really what I'm looking for. Got a couple of spots that the secret room could be in already. So I'm going to hold off on using my bombs. And there's our arcade. If I go in with the curse, it shouldn't disappear. Unless I'm mistaken. So let's um, get that active then take it, and then get that active again. By it, I mean the meat. And in fact, while we're um, with enough money, let's get into our shop. And it is the steam sale, which actually kind of is worthwhile at this point. And I only need one more coin to get that blue heart on top. I can get one more coin as well in uh, here if I can get flight or something or I could just bomb it into um, a, a reachable position but I need my bomb more for the secret room at the moment I guess and wait I'm gonna get more money from the machine anyway 
cheaper shops for the rest of the game. That's something that's lovely to have. We've also now got enough keys to get into our bonus room when we find it. And we've got a Monstro fight. And that's a shame. But bring it, Monstro. He's not exactly a tough boss. It's just going to take a while because we've got shit damage. And it's nice to see that we have stayed in curse form despite healing in the room. Here comes Larry. And Larry is actually less of a problem with it for us because he's got less health and we've got plenty of speed as Eve, especially in curse form. So, uh, yeah, let's just kill these guys and have done with it. Drop me a spirit heart, please. Bombs is also good because then I can start doing this without worrying about running out of bombs. And then I can stop doing this because... Ooh, spider bite, slow effect. I don't think I've had that on recording before. That's wonderful. Means that whatever happens, there was a point to this run. I'll take that now and feed it into the blood bank for more money. All the way down here. And I'm going to see what else is available in the shop before I spend my money um, elsewhere. But I probably am going to spend my money elsewhere and then blow everything up. Because I've got bombs for the purpose. I'm not going to blow everything up straight away thinking about it. And I want that pill. If nothing else, it's another game of Guess the Pills. Here's our slow effect, which is brilliant against these guys especially. Because they're pretty nippy. There we go. I'll drive those two, and that leaves that one uh, defenseless. Wonderful. Extra bomb for the uh, privilege, I guess. Okay, I think these are the same pills as we've got in the shop. So we've got another game of Guess the Pill, and I'm going to guess at full heal, because it would actually be a little awkward at the moment. Uh, place your own bets in the comments section below, and yeah, it is the same pill that we've got in the shop, so now we can see if that's a worthwhile purchase. I'll be using them in three, two, one. Telepills. Potentially a worthwhile purchase after we fought the boss. Because getting an error room would be lovely. Could also get us out of a curse room. There's other things it could do as well, but they're not coming to the front of my mind, to be honest. Uh, crack the sky. It's a nice item. But I'm quite happy with my uh, Book of Sin giving me occasional spirit hearts and money and keys and bombs and other things that I might necessarily need. So yeah, sticking with this. Ow. Screw you more. There we go. Another room cleared. What have we got up here? Here's our boss room, which I suppose I should get over and done with at this point. hope it's not someone too hard, but that's not really the point got Pestilence out of the uh, rotation, so we're not going to be fighting him. Maybe it'll be Gish, that would be nice, or a uh, Monstro variant. Let's use the Book of Sin quickly. Gets me a bomb. And you know what? I see no harm, other than one less recharge, in taking Crack the Sky into this boss fight. At least it gives it some purpose and uses it up. Why not? Going in on curse form. Plenty of spirit hearts. And it's good. Pretty damn susceptible to a crack the sky. And it's already shaved off a good deal of his health. Her health. Also pretty bad once slowed. So uh, constant stream of tears is handling Gertie really nicely. Want to take out this little uh, blood pus thing. I think they're called pustules. I think that's actually their name, but I may be wrong. That might be something else. It, it's something like boils, maybe. I'm not sure. But either way, we've nearly got Gertie defeated. And it's not taken us too long, either. Lovely. Pretty impressive for a Gertie fight, I think. She's normally quite a tough boss to kill. And we've got Mum's coin purse, which gives us four plays of Guess the Pill. Three plays, in fact. 
Uh, I'm going to start with red and squiggles because we've got two of them. Place your own bets in the comments uh, section below as to what you think these pills might be. And I'll be using them in three, two, one. Bombs are key. Well, let's um, get the switch. Leave it as it is for now. We've done all the bombing we need to do on this floor. We don't need five bombs, but we don't need five keys either. So I'll take that one down with me and use it a little more tactically. Now we've got the white with squiggles pills. White with orange squiggles. Um, I'm going to guess... Full heal. Place your own bets in the comment section below and I'll use them in three, two, one. Health down. Okay. Um, finally, we've got the blue and light blue pills. Because I know there's some solid blue pills later on. Well, not necessarily, there might be. Anyway, we've got the blue pills. That'll do for now. I'm going to guess... Tears up. It'll be nice. And I'll use them in three, two, one. Bad trip. Bye bye to a spirit heart. Oh well. We'll live. Let's go uh, feed that half a heart we uh, picked up into the blood bank. Then go see what the rest of the floor holds in store for. Oh yeah, we do want to take that. Book of Sin. Lovely. Could take those telepills now. But I think I'll do a little bit of... Um, I'll buy the telepills now. Then I'll gamble with the money I get from the blood bank. Then I will explore the rest of the floor because there might be a better use for the telepills than to just randomly use them. Alright, we've got that planned out. There comes our curse form. We only get one coin, but let's stick it in there. Probably should have stuck it in the um, other one, but oh well. You know what? I think I actually do need pills more than I need... Uh, bombs more than I need keys at the moment. Because I've got to blow all of them up. At the same time, I want to hang on to a key. So let's get that used and take the telepills with us. If we get a curse room, we'll go in there and teleport out. I don't think we're going to get another arena. I don't think it lets you, and it's just one room, so... Oh well. Bit of charge for a book of sin. There comes a key as well. That's quite nice. And, um... Telepills. Takes us back to here. It's fine. Now what I'll do is, um... That one can give us blue hearts. Blow up the shell game. Flies aren't a problem for us, really. And that gives us a red heart, which we'll feed into there for some money. Ooh, that's a lot of money. Thank you very much. Okay. That'll give us a few blue hearts out of this, and maybe a couple of good trinkets. Child's heart is a trinket. I wouldn't say it's good, especially as Eve. We've got a tarot card as well, Hierophant. That's two blue hearts. That's already... A good so I get the feeling that um, this run is going to go a lot better than I was expecting it to from the start I have a feeling that this is actually going to be a pretty successful run but we're only at caves 2 so we can't really say that come on give me cancer no let's blow up the let's blow up the one out here first. Maybe it'll drop us some coins or some hearts. Sure. Good haul. And um, stick a heart in there. Three bombs, three keys is a much better state to be in than we were earlier. Think for yourself. I already do that. Let's start by blowing this one up, just in case it drops coins. Which it did. And that can go in there and give us a spirit heart. No, just tells me to think for myself again. So enough of that then. Unknown pills, that's interesting. So it's time for one final game on this floor of Guess the Pills. Um, what haven't we got yet? We haven't come across bad guess yet, so that's going to be my guess. Place your own bets in the comments section below. I'll be using them as I reach the boss room. So that'll be in about three, two, one. 
Ta-da! Puberty. Equally useless. In fact, a little more useless. And we've got the Depths, which is much easier than the Necropolis, so I'm happy with that. What, what, what's the growth on my head? Why have I got growth on my head? I'm sure it's from some... Is that the crown? Oh, it's the spider bite! Of course it is. Silly mez. Right, let's get these uh, moors killed. Without getting spat all over. Thank you very much. Let's leave that there because I'm on curse form and I like that. It's a damage multiplier. It's a speed multiplier. It's an awesome multiplier. And it gives you these cool looking horns. Well, it doesn't give you them. It gives me them because I'm the one playing. When it's good, it's me. When it's bad, it's you. I heard that on someone else's video of this. I'm not quite sure who off the top of my head. Right. I'd like a lot more tier rate, because that would go brilliantly with my slowing effect, but it's not something I can legitimately come across. Can't get back that way without gaining half a heart, that's awkward. Oh, use that so we get the uh, recharge. Hello lag, my old friend. It's actually getting cooler in here than it was earlier, so I'm surprised by this. But I suppose there's a lot going on, including my um, tears and their, all, all their potential effects. My bird, all those enemies that are now um, much lessened. And yeah. Do I want to fight the boss yet? I suppose I haven't taken damage on this floor yet, and that's the best time to get a deal with the devil. I haven't found the um, upgrade, but it's only Monstro 2, I should be able to handle him. Especially with them slowed. Of course, this is the uh, tactic for Monstro 2 that I believe I was struggling with recently. Not quite sure how I can struggle with it. It's a pretty damn simple tactic. Slow, but it does the job. Three years later, we will be out of this room and... Um, Backtracking through the hearts and getting a little bit weaker. But me. He started jumping. What's he doing that for? Bad monstro. Now you die. And give us the squeezy, but no deal with the devil, which is a shame. Still, three spirit hearts is not something to complain about. Still, it adds to the hope that we find a um, blood bank on this floor or some other way of losing half a heart without losing spirit hearts. Because. That would get us back into curse form, which is kind of needed now. Otherwise, I'm really quite weak. Yeah. Managing this room alright, but it's... Really? Not the sort of thing I was expecting to come across on the depths. It's far too easy. Health up pill? Sure. If any time's the time, it's now. got health, I may as well have health. So, ooh, here's our bonus room. This is a tough room as well. Uh, I'm really going to need the slow... Ooh. Got a teleport there. Let's use our book. And um, I don't really see any need for the teleport. I'll uh, get it out of the item pool, but... I might find some use for it in a bit. I might find a curse room or something. It is the depths. It's going to be a big floor, even though we've already found the boss. Or at least it should be a big floor. If it's not, there's something weird going on. That was stupid damage there, but I'll live. Got plenty of spirit hearts to get me by. As is often the case when I'm playing as Eve. I got the Ankh this run, didn't I? Or was that a different... Oh, it can't have been a different run, because I've only done one as Eve. Let's just double check. Yeah. So I can still go all ank form. And uh, be epic. 
If it's possible to do that after killing Isaac, I'd be fine with that as well. But makes it easier to stay on Spirit Hearts. I'm sure I've got a pretty good fire rate at this point, though. And that combined with my uh, slowing tears is quite nice. Oh, yeah. I had a plan for if I come across a curse room. I should probably explore the rest of the floor first, though, in case I teleport into another room that could give me a charge on my book, which is really far more important than a charge on the teleport item. Haven't found the secret room yet. I might want to do that as well. Although I might just teleport into the secret room. I can't teleport into an error room, so that's fine. I'll just see what's in here quickly. I'm not sure if I'm going to fight it or switch my teleport plans, perhaps. You know what? Let's fight it. Worth it for a spirit heart. Even if I lose the spirit heart, not so much. But then I've still got the uh, key and a couple of coins, and I might go to the shop now, and etc. Two keys is as many as I'm likely to need for the rest of the run. And I've got the steam sale, so everything's half price. So seven coins is more than enough to go to the shop with. Yeah, I'm happy with this. Ah, I'm not happy with that, but... Still, it's been a net profit so far, and now the bird can help us with these dudes. So can the slow, though. That's it, you get them. I'll uh, go with this guy. Here's the tough one, though. Let's get him slowed if we can. Come on, there we go. Okay. Thank you very much, bird. And that was a good spirit heart profit. We've got spirit hearts off the screen. Okay. I'm really feeling confident for this run right now. Let's get this branch in the middle cleared. Okay, it's a library. We've got the Book of Revelations, which I might actually roll with instead of the Book of Sin. Because similar, but better. I didn't mean to do that, but at least I got a coin for it. I need more keys now. Let's head to the shop quickly. Let's do the teleport thing. I'm not going to get a charge from the shop. I might get a charge from the shop. There might be um, greed in there, but meh. I've still got a secret room to find as well, which also might contain greed. Let's do that quickly. It's not greed. Greed probably in the shop then. going to blow that up. not going to play it. Gonna save my money for the shop, and um, if there's not enough to buy at the shop, then I might get an arcade next floor. And that's also good because it can get us back down to that half a heart we need to be on. Okay. Sure. Happy with that. Happy with that as well. I wouldn't have found that myself. Not on this floor. Not with this many bombs. I wouldn't have looked. So let's go back to the bonus room over here and get my Book of Revelations back out. We're also going to get a bit of a um, meat upgrade as the... Well, we're only going to get a level 2 cube of meat because there's only one horseman boss left to face. Left with a chance to face at this point. There's the greed we were expecting, but it's the... Um... Actually, I find this version of greed a little easier because of the less dodging needed for the shots. Although the greed head summons aren't too pleasant. But oh well, we can get over that. There's one down anyway. There's greed himself down. And 25 coins, hello. Now that's going in the next floor's arcade. And there we go. Another cleared floor. It's time to head down and if I had coffee, I'd drink it. I want coffee. Someone bring me some coffee. Yes, you watching this uh, video that was filmed hours, days, weeks, or even months or years ago. Go get me some coffee right now. Um, oh, actually, I have got some coffee, but it's probably really cold. 
Screw it, I'm braving it. Both horrible and delicious. <coughs> uh. Ah. At least there's caffeine. Caffeine is good. Especially when you're playing Binding of Isaac. You can't have a proper Binding of Isaac run without plenty of caffeine in your system. And that was um, damage that was pretty hard to avoid. But I'm okay with it. I've got plenty of spirit hearts. Uh, that's a lot of lag. But I suppose there's a lot of things going on right now. As far as the computer's concerned. A little less there. There we go. That's what I was looking for. Wonderful. I don't think that room could have gone much better. Maybe less lag would have been better, but okay. I'm going to bomb out this way just in case it's the shop or the bonus room. No, but the arcade's there. And that's also good. I'm going to go to the shop first in case they've got the nun's habit, for example. That would be awesome to find at this point. Get me a few more spirit hearts. And, um, to be honest, get me pretty damn well defended. Ace of spades, I'd much rather have that than the child's heart. Aside from being a lot less gruesome, it's, um... I I'd rather be getting cards than hearts at this point. Not gotten many deals with the devil, which I'm finding a little odd, but I can live with it. Uh, oh yeah, that was a trinket in there, wasn't it? Never mind. Let's head up, and we want to find the shop as quickly as we can, really. And I'd rather find the shop at this point than the bonus room, thinking about it. Because the shop's got chances for much, much better things. There we go, and just, no, he's not going to get killed while just standing there, never mind. Extra spirit heart for me anyway. So I'm just going to uh, stand here for a minute. Um, that wasn't quite where you were meant to blow up, thanks. No, not you. Just blow up over here. Screw you, then. That room could have gone a lot better. I'm not going to blow up that to get the bomb, because it's not worth it. That's why I was trying so hard to get him to do it, because that would have been worth it. He can't be hurt by his own bombs, can he? Never mind. He's dead now, anyway. Um, Anarchist Cookbook, at the very least, uh, gets it out of the item pool. Uh, I believe there was a Devil Beggar in the other room over here. might want to blow him up. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll leave it for the minute. I'll figure it out later on. As does tend to be the uh, more efficient tactic. Oh, I see why there's lag. My antivirus is running. No wonder. Yeah, nothing else is running. Just this and my recording software. It's normally fine. It's cooling down in here. Uh, this is a horrible room. I hate Necropolis. If your name is Nick Ropolis, I was not talking about you. You're probably a fine person. Bit of a weird name though, mate. What kind of a last name is Ropolis? Sorry, I shouldn't be insulting your family. It's kind of worse of me. Or trying to make a joke out of um, what probably isn't, but might actually be someone's name. Anyway, moving on, there's the compass, okay. Suppose I'll take it. Suppose I'll take it all, because, you know, I'm Mr. Moneybags over it. And uh, the rest of my money can go into the casino, thank you very much. I think I'm going to use the uh, Devil Beggar to get my hearts down, though. Because better chances of awesome. So, what are you going to give me, Mr. Devil? 
Some pills, sure. Balls of steel pills, nice. Anything else? No upgrades? I might be back for you. Or I might just be back to kill you. I don't want to go in here at all. I want to go this way. There we go. More food for the devil beggar. Oh, this is going to involve a lot of back and forth thing if he doesn't give me something soon. I'm hoping for the curse. No, I'm joking, of course. Um, not going to go to the arcade just yet because it's going to involve a lot of back and forth thing when it happens. And I'd rather prolong the time until. Wonderful. That worked well. Let's go in here. Mm. I'm not happy. I live, but shoot the whoopers crap. Um. Yes, yeah, head off to the left. I should be a lot happier, to be honest, because I'm in quite a fit state for this fight. That's coming up. That's a uh, mum fight. This run, to be honest. That's what I mean. I'm in a fit state on this run. Uh, although masks aren't going to do anything to help that. Thank you, lag, for slowing this moment down. Dodge. Dodge. Over here and kill this one while the bird kills that one. Um, okay, we've got one mask down. Clears the field a little bit, but also brings off the lag, which was kind of saving my life there. Here we go. Last heart, and that's that room completed. How the hell can I get in here? It's weird, but okay. Um... Yeah, could be money in this chest. Is money in the chest. Also a Wheel of Fortune, which I'll probably play in the casino. Key's nice too. I don't really see that I'm going to use it for much at this point, but I might find something. Something that doesn't involve taking needless damage from leapers. If this round is masks, I will be livid, because I didn't know that could happen. Okay, it's not. I didn't think it could happen. I was about to say I could fight the boss now and then wander around, but I can't do that. It's mum. At this point. Lovely. Only a couple of rooms left to clear, and then I'm going to... Um... Okay. That's fine, then. Let's head in here. See what we've got. Pills, telepills, which I'll use to get out in a moment, which means I lose that wheel of fortune. Ooh. Okay, let's use that. Get it out of the way. Use that. Blow it up. Boom! Spirit heart, lovely. And use that. And leave. Not into the mum fight. Brilliant. That was that. Okay. Okay. I'm going to take that with me into the arcade, because when I'm done, you can imagine, I'm sure. Save him for a little bit longer, because I want to get an upgrade out of him. And uh, I'm looking for as many spirit hearts as I can get in here, really. That's the perfect machine for such a intent. Some nice trinkets might be good as well. I mean, I've already got an alright trinket, but a better one will be not that. It's kind of useless unless I've got Guppy's um, something or other. And he teleports off and gives me that crap. Don't really need it on this run. I'm not going to give up. I want spirit hearts. And I don't see why you're lagging. Why the hell are you lagging? It probably needs a cleaner or something. Um, temperance card is interesting. I'm not sure that I can actually make any use out of these, but I might be able to use one to make use out of the other in a way that I could show you in a moment. Mm. 
Yeah, let's just do it now. Give that a bomb. Drops me three coins and half a heart. The half a heart can go in there. Wonderful. And then I'll blow that one up. And any hearts that it drops go in the Devil Beggar. And then I'll blow the Devil Beggar up. But I want to play this a little bit more first. Because I still want more Spirit Hearts. The more the merrier, as they say. Uh, that's the Empress. Which would be pretty good in that fight. I'm happy taking the safety cap. As happy as I am with the uh, Ace of Spades. I suppose they're just as good as each other. Come on, give me something good. I think I'm going to go down to 15 coins. There's no real reason for it. Happy without the matchstick. You are worshipping a sun god. I don't worship any gods, thank you. We will all die one day. Well, I don't intend to, but I might be um, mistaken on that front. Bring him the photo. Yeah, I know, but I don't have the photo unlocked yet. Think for yourself. I always do. You know that. Another Empress card. You'll die alone. Maybe. Hopefully it's a long way off. Ah. Now the Liberty Cap, that's a pretty good trinket. Um, random mushroom effect. And a lot of the mushroom effects are pretty powerful. In fact, all of the mushroom effects are pretty powerful. Uh, so a random one is fine. And I've gone below where I said I was going to stop. So let's start with that. Hopefully it'll hit. Oh good, it almost got me, but it didn't. May as well take the money, but me, I'm not going to go all the way out through those trinkets to get that money, because that would be um, difficult. I'll leave it at that. Okay, finally, two more hearts to feed into the Devil Beggar. If he doesn't give me something, I'll blow him up and get increased Devil Run chances. Um... Although I think I've already got reduced Devil Room chances, but oh well. Oh, look at the speed I've got. Right, let's go fight Mum. That's all that's left. To... That was almost a bad move. Because I still have the Anarchist Cookbook. And I want whatever it was I had before. I can't even remember what it was. Oh yeah, Book of Revelations. Spirit Heart Regeneration, of course. It's right up my alley when I'm playing as Eve. Of course, we can't forget I've still got the Ankh, but it seems like I'm not going to use it unless I do so intentionally at this point. Which it might be worth doing reasonably soon, because, you know, if I'm uh, going to win this run, doing it as Blue Baby would be more useful than doing it as Eve. Just Eve, because it'll still be Eve. Okay, we've got this variant of Mum, which I think is probably the easiest. Um, I might well no damage this. Of course I won't, but oh well. Oh, that's what that one does. Of course it is. So I've um, powered up my curse a little bit, if anything. Um, if you'd slow down a little bit, it would be nice. Oof. Don't want to be running into those feet. Well, here are all my spirit hearts going. I might end up on the uh, ank sooner than I expected. Thank you, Lank. You kind of saved me there. And thank you, Cuba Meat. You did save me there. Um, I've had enough of the lag now, though. Thank you. Right. Let's get this finished. We're really very close now, so there we go. Thunderbar. Okay, I can't take that spirit heart without taking the actual healing. Well, I should get an arcade on the next floor, but I can't really count on it. But I don't really have that much of a choice. And I might have to end up on the Ankh. Okay, no arcade. Secret room is here with greed in it. I don't really need the money. 
Um, there is a curse room over there that I'll go and look at. I doubt there's going to be anything too valuable in there. And I'm going to go and fight the boss as soon as I can, but I do still want to uh, milk the floor for charges on my book. It's the womb, the easier variant, so I'm happy with that. And I think I've got the um, fire rate increase for this room from the Liberty Cap, which is nice, I suppose. Um, yeah, it might help if I actually looked at the screen. That was a throw. I was just stood there for so long. He was taking so long to charge towards me. I looked out my window for a moment and then ah, and I'm under attack. Of course, because I am suddenly too comfortable in my own abilities. Always happens when I get to the womb. Well, let's blow this up and head out here back in to blow it all up and hope for a spirit heart. You know what, it might actually be time to activate the Ankh anyway. Uh, this is a nasty room right now. Ooh, no you don't. Oh, no I don't. Okay, here comes the Ankh. Coming in with four hearts and um, perma curse. Brings my speed back up to uh, what I had gotten used to, as with my damage. Uh, I still need to focus though, which is fine at this depth. I'm not going to go into the curse room because it's going to pretty much kill me at this point. But I'm still looking for charges on my book. Yeah, I couldn't really avoid that very easily. Actually, I probably could have. I just need to pay a bit more attention and all that malarkey. It's giving me a key. I don't really have any uses for a key, but... You know, I think this might be the way to the boss anyway. It might be one of those twisty, annoying floors. Ow. Okay, I'm getting better at these guys. And um, yeah, let's head off to the left here. These guys aren't as hard as the um, other ones. Little, um, wormy dudes. Screamy worms. Screamy worms. Sure. That's an adult phrase. Hello, lag. Goodbye, lag. Um, I'm down to one spirit heart. I'm not happy about it. But there's not a lot I can do right now. Except for, uh, coast through some of these rooms and look for good clusters of bricks that I can break in the hopes of them dropping some blue hearts. I'm not seeing any. I suppose the bosses on these floors are typically easier than the actual rooms, so I might get lucky. As long as it's not con- Wait, it's going to be deaf because I've used the Book of Revelations this floor. Sorry, I'm just adjusting my headphones quickly. It's going to be a bit of noise. Okay, so perhaps quickly was the wrong word, but whatever. Okay. I guess we're going to have to go and fight death. And hope it's not actually conquest. Because if it's conquest, we're dead. Although these um, free spirit hearts from the Liberty Cap is... Well, it's one spirit heart anyway. It's going to help. What have we got in here? Golden chest? I could. Uh, I very well could open that. I could do with an extra charge on my um, book before I go in. I'm going to risk it. And it's the burnt penny. Which, you know what? Absolute crap. I don't know why I even bother picking it up. 
Okay, we've got Larry first. If I remember correctly, this is a... Now, yeah, Chubb. Who we should be able to handle. As long as we don't look away from the screen again. Oh, no you don't. Thank you for the uh, slowing shots earlier, game. Really helped out that. Seriously. And I end up losing health to one of them. Really need all the health I can get at this point in the game. Need the lag as well, sure. My dead bird is handling um, a little bit of damage over there. As I look away from the screen and nearly get hit because of it. Take out that maggot for me, bird. No. Well, there's two monsters for us to deal with now, so... you best be of some help. Because these are high HP bosses, don't forget. Okay, good. You're gnawing on that one. I'll, uh... do what I can for the other. I can't even tell which is which anymore. They're just leaping about too much to really make sense of it all. And I think the bird is switching between them as well. Well, that's one of them down though. And there goes the other one. That room could have gone a lot better, but could have gone a lot worse. I think I'm one room away from getting another charge. I'm not sure, but might be. So let's try to get another charge. Well, that was a slow moment, but it got rid of him. And didn't risk any harm to us at the very least. Still need one more room. I think greed might be the easiest option right now. So let's blast our way in there. It's the wrong room. Because I'm clever. B D D D dump. No, oh, so there's a lot of this floor around the other side as well, but it's not really what I should be looking at right now. I should be looking at that guy that's just died. Win, heart. I suppose I should try and get more charges and more practice on this floor at the very least, because I'm about to face another one of it. If I manage to survive the fight with death. Who knows, I might come across a um, beggar and he might give me the nun's habit. And a load of blue hearts. Or I might come across these um, death machines and die to them. Brilliant. It's a shame, it was going quite well. Um, my luck kind of turned sour towards the end there though. So, what am I going to go with as my best combo? Well, I think the spider bite was a new item. I'll uh, just check that quickly. Where is that? There. Might be coming up. Uh, this is my list of um, things I haven't gotten yet. Spider bite is not on there. Is that what it was called? Is it in the list of things I have gotten up here? You should be able to see that. You might not. It's not really important. It's not there either. Is it under a different name? I, I don't know. I'll figure that out later. But I don't think I've gotten Spider Bite. Um, I'll have to sort out that list because apparently the stuff I've not gotten that isn't on either. But yeah, so I've gotten that now. That's my new item for the run. Um, what else? My best combo. Curse, Ankh, Book of Revelations. Yeah, Curse, Ankh, and Book of Revelations. I think that was a pretty um, effective combo until the end there, when I looked away from the screen and got killed because of it. <clears throat> I'm an idiot. Feel free to promote me in the comment section, that's what it's there for. And, um... I guess I'll see you all tomorrow for another run of Samson. Yay! Horrible hard run. Aside from that, thank you all for watching. Hope you all enjoyed the show. If you did, give me a like, give me a whatever. Um, 
I, I guess favorite, but a lot of people have been saying rate me. I, I can't find a place to rate them, but if you know where it is, give me a rate, sure. <coughs> mm. Maybe they're um, saying it for people on their own websites or something. Anyway, thank you for watching. See you all next time. Bye!